Let's take a look at how we can create this animated blur rainbow background effect right in Keynote. Okay, let's get started. Here I have a brand new Keynote slide deck on my Mac. I'm using the basic black theme and I have removed all of the placeholder text so that we are starting with a totally blank canvas. Now, to complete this uh, effect that we're going to create, we need a shape. So I'm going to go up to my Shapes menu and just grab a simple circle. Now, for this example, I'm using a circle, but this technique will work with any shape you'd like or even with text. Now, real quick, I want to stay a perfect circle. Not because it matters so much, just because for this example I think it'll look better with a perfect circle. I'm going to go over to my Format and Arrange menu, and I'm just going to click off Constrain Proportions, just to make it easier for when I drag its size, it'll stay a perfect circle. Okay, so I'm going to make it about that big, and I'm going to bring it over here to the side of my slide. And then I'm going to use my Command-D shortcut to duplicate it, and make another circle, same exact thing and then duplicate it again and again. All right, now these are a little bit big and you can see they're kind of hanging off the slide. I'm just going to put them in the center. It doesn't matter that they're hanging off the slide for now because we're going to move them later on. So the next thing I want to do is select my first circle and I'm going to go to my Format and Style tab and I'm going to give it a Drop Shadow. So under Shadows, I'm going to click on Drop Shadow. Now, you can't see it right now because the drop shadow is black, and obviously that doesn't appear on the black background. So we're going to use some really bright, vibrant colors for this. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to use some of the uh, available colors right here in the drop-down. And we will start with blue. And I want to make my blur for my shadow as high as it can go, which is 100 uh, points in this case. I also want to increase my opacity all the way to 100% so we can really see that blue. And then the last thing I want to do is offset my shadow uh, as far as I can, which is 50 points. Um, and so now you can see this blue shadow is pretty clear. It's offset 270 degrees, which means it's extending down from the circle. And that looks good for now. So I'm going to select my second circle and give it a drop shadow. And what you'll notice is that Keynote is smart enough to apply the same exact shadow to the second object I have um, applied that to here. But this one we want to change. The first thing I'm going to change is the color. Let's make this one pink. And instead of having the shadow extend down, I wanted it to extend to the right. So I'm going to change my angle here, and I'm just going to make it a zero degree angle. And you could see the shadow move to the right. On my third shape, we'll give it a shadow, and we'll make it yellow. And I want the shadow to extend up, so I'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees. And then in my fourth one, we'll give it a shadow, and let's make this one green. And we want to go to the left, so that would be 180 degrees. And so you can see what I've done here, four simple circles, all different colored shadows extending in different directions. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is just drag and select all four of my circles, and then I'm going to right click on one of them, and with align objects, I'm going to align them to the center. So they're essentially all stacked up. And there we go. So you can see all the shadows kind of blend together to create this interesting glowing rainbow effect. Uh, if you want to pronounce it even more, you can change the fill color, which is currently white, to black. And then you get this really neat kind of solar eclipse effect going on. Now, of course, you could add 20 circles and have that many more layers and experiment with shadow length and opacity and blurriness and all sorts of things and create uh, basically infinite number of effects. But I just want to give you the idea here of stacking elements with different shadows to create something unique. Now let's just take it one step further for this example. I'm going to go ahead and grab my slide in the slide viewer on the left and do Command D to duplicate the slide. Now what I want to do is change the angle of each of the shadows by 90 degrees to essentially rotate the shadow. So I'm going to move them, I'm going to spread them out again so I can see all of them. Okay, they don't need to be perfect. All right, and so I'm going to rotate the shadow 
counterclockwise. So for example, this first one, the green is going to the left. I want to make it go down to the bottom. So I'm going to change the angle. The blue is going down. I want to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So that one's going to go to zero. The pink is going to rotate up to 90 degrees. And the yellow is going to rotate, rotate to the left at 180 degrees. Okay, and then I'll highlight them again and align them center. So if I go back and forth between my first and second slide, you can see the change in the colors. Now I can do this multiple times and create a really neat effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spread them back out again and duplicate the slide. And I'm going to rotate the shadows one more time, kind of following the same pattern, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So in this case, the green becomes 0. The blue becomes 90, the pink becomes 180, and the yellow becomes 270. And then I'll do it one more time. That way we will have completed a full rotation. So my green goes up to 90, blue to 270, pink to, uh, sorry, 270. I mean, the blue should be 180, my fault. Okay, and the yellow should be zero. And I just need to align all of them in the center. I'll just double check, make sure we're right in the center. Okay. Okay. And let's just double check, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now what we can do is take these slides and apply an animation between them uh, using the magic move effect. So you've noticed I did uh, command A to select all of my slides over here. And then I'll head up to the animate window and I'm going to add a magic move transition. And I'm going to turn off the acceleration, um, though it's all in the effect you want to get. Uh, and I'm going to have it happen automatically, just so I can demonstrate it with no delay. And we'll change it to a one second animation. And then what I'm going to do is just duplicate it a bunch of times. I'm doing this so you can see what the ultimate effect is. Of course, you can play with any of these parameters um, for a whole bunch of different uh, results. So I'm just going to select all of these and copy, Command C, and paste, Command V and paste and paste and just do a bunch of them and then I'll head back to the first slide and I'll click play and we can see those animations happening and we have this kind of neat blur rainbow shadow effect happening which is kind of interesting and unique. Hope you like the idea and would love to see what you create with this. Feel free to download this slide deck in the description below. Thanks for watching.